color, they're much more colorful than what we saw on TV in the past. And you know, we're dealing with a lot of like lovely queer stories that haven't been on on a sitcom yet. So I think it's it's really great to be kind of on the the forefront of something like that, and and just doing things that 30 year olds are doing, you know, in in, in the world today. So um, it's really fun. Us being on Hulu gives us a lot more space to play, you know, with with certain topics, subject matter. And um, so I can't wait to get back in. I guess I feel really grateful to the people who've given me an opportunity to do work that I can be proud of. And so I really want to work to give other people the opportunity to do what they love to do. So that's what's fun for me about producing. It's really like providing a playground where people get to do what they love. Happy Mother's Day. I speak to our 500th episode. I have a three-year-old baby. Everything is different. I guess he's a toddler now. But for us, we just got picked up for two more seasons. That will be five years in a row of daytime traditional talk in the spirit of Phil and Oprah and the many others who paved the way. So we're just, we're trying to have fun. Um, I guess so. I mean, I, I want to make the kinds of shows that um, I want to watch. I want to make shows that are fun and provocative and entertaining, but also I want to have fun when we make them. So I love the kinds of content we're making, but I also love how we're making it with a lot of respect and joy and hard work. Well, I think the main thing is to be my own character. You know what I mean? I'm not Nathan Fillion. Nathan Fillion is not me. You know what I mean? So to make her completely her own will give the viewers a totally different experience. Yeah, you know, I've, I've always felt like drawn to stories that shine a light on something that either you can relate to, you learn from, and, and you're entertained. Hopefully all three. But that's always, I think, it's been a great way for me to, to expand my, you know, my blinders in the world is to watch shows and movies that, that do just that. And so... I'm drawn to it as an artist. Um, it's an interesting transition. I've never had to be naked before on Blackish, um, and I've had to do that a couple times on Grunish, uh, which is a really weird experience, but I feel like it's definitely an exciting turn for Junior's character. He's developing into a man, finding himself, uh, and it's been, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, I'm surrounded by a lot of young folks, people my age, so, yeah. The benefits and, and challenges of, of growing up on a show and being known as, as one, as a young type of character, which yeah. you, you kind of, the audience kind of locks in, and then to, you know, expand it into a more mature version. Yeah. What's the challenge of that? Uh, it's very, I feel like I've been just been fortunate enough to have writers surrounding us who have allowed our characters to evolve and continue to grow. Um, and it's been so much fun. You know, even me, I've been growing up in real life, so it's like also the natural evolution of me as an actor and getting to step into that different, like not too many people get to play the same character a different way, but I've been fortunate enough to do that, so. Is that something that's really important for you to get to audiences so that they have a better understanding of what it really is about? You know, it's weird. We don't technically create with the current politics uh, in mind. We try to create characters and storylines where we show the humanity of these people. In that is a natural aversion to politics that are meant to antagonize those groups of people. So I, my philosophy is the very existence of a predominantly black school, a predominantly black cast, um, having a gay character and watching them just be people on TV. That alone, you know, it like counteracts the, the, the unfortunate politics that come up against them. Well, you know, uh, I, first of all, voiceover work is, is a blast. Uh, you're, you're doing stuff that, that you don't normally get to do uh, in filmed, you know, television or, or movies. 
Um, and, and the scripts are different. I mean, it's it's different branches of the same creative tree. I also direct, I write, so you apply a different discipline and different techniques to it. Uh, and fortunately, you know, if you're working with good people, you get a little bit of guidance. Uh, the scripts are always fantastic, and and you just put yourself in a different mindset. You know, I I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't go in uh, to a, a children's animation session, you know, being a real method actor. I don't think I'd do that. Yeah, that wouldn't work. That generally doesn't work with them. Um, anyway, what's the highlight of this coming upcoming season? Uh, I, I get to sing again, and it's crazy. I mean, you know, I was on Broadway and, you know, uh, gratefully nominated for a Tony. Uh, a lot of people don't know me for comedy. They don't know me for my singing as much as they do some of the more dramatic stuff. And, and Craig, I, he keeps throwing these wonderful songs at me. Uh, and there's a beautiful, beautiful Christmas song that Chief Bill gets to sing with his son. Uh, so for me, I'm looking forward to seeing that.